I'm sure we all remember our trips to our grandma's house, getting to do all the fun things your parents would never let you do. But maybe a grandma is more than your parents' mom. What if it's someone you have a connection with in a store? Well, that's what happened to the Freeze family in Grand Ledge, and now they're looking for their fourth grandma. Hi. There's just something special. What? about grandma's house. Oh, that's time for me to see bubbles. Maybe it's the life lessons. Get the bubbles in it and then go like this. Don't be so, there you go. Maybe it's the toys. The only flower I have. Hey. Or maybe it's the grandma's like Stephanie. Look at him, loving on me. He don't love on anybody. Who make it so special. I'm blessed <laughs> to have them as an example. And the kids are, they know love like a lot of people don't get to experience it. But maybe that special feeling isn't just about the house. When you got them, you better hold on to them because they love you. They love you really hard and they love you really tight. <laughs> That's really important. <laughs> because grandmas can leave their mark anywhere. We were at Meijer um, getting the stuff for my kid's birthday and we had to double back to the front to find the bathroom. There, Kelly Freeze met a new grandma. She was just smiling at me the whole time and then finally approached us and was like, hi, they're beautiful children. They're so well behaved and just engaged so genuinely. An instant connection that in the moment seemed like just a kind gesture. When she went in to kiss my son Chase's leg, he was just like, oh, okay, like sat a little straighter, you know, like you're gonna fix this for me. But one question from that grandma. She asked us if we had a grandma. I kind of was like, overthought that for a second. Like, no, we got grandmas in a fleeting moment. They fussed and we had to leave and stuck. Afterwards, it was just like, what if she needed us? We don't need her, not don't need her, <laughs> but we're not lacking in that department. But what's more love? So Kelly took to Facebook, hoping someone might know hashtag Meyer Grandma. We do live in an age where we can connect now. So why not at least try and if we don't, it was a beautiful connection and we'll always remember it. Hopefully she does too. And while there's been some granny speculations, none are their Meyer grandma. I wish that I would have said, hey, let's hang out. <laughs> we could be yours. But she hopes one day they'll make their way back to each other. Just know that you're not alone, that she's not alone. I don't know her story. That's what I want to know. I want to know her story, your story. <laughs> I want to know more about her. Because even though their hearts are full of grandmas, <laughs> we didn't need her, but she might need us. <laughs> and we need her. <laughs> we need more people like her in the world and just that are kind. And there's always room. Take a moment for extra and slow down. Oh, oh my God. Grandma love. And this little boy loves me. Kelly describes their Meyer grandma as being in her late 60s to 70s. She was wearing a pink top with blue jeans, purple lipstick, and a smile so genuine they'll never forget it. If you think you might be Meyer grandma or you might know her, reach out to me or you can find Kelly on Facebook. Your neighborhood reporter in Grand Ledge, Michaela Temple, Fox 47 News.